मुझे पता नहीं था कि एएसयू मोर ऑफ अ इंडियन कॉलेज है बोल के टिल आई वाज ऑलमोस्ट हियर कोर्स इज नॉट लाइक रियली टफ स्पेशली फॉर आवर इंडियंस इट्स नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट एवरीवन इज मास्टर मणिपाल इज अ रियली लाइक अ पार्टी स्कूल 100% लाइक 90 के पकड़ लो 90 के तो मिल ही जाए वो डॉलर और रुपी का कैलकुलेटर अपने आप से गायब हो जाएगा 600 कमा रहे हो तो 600 में भी तू जी सकता है 1500 कमा रहे हो तो 1500 में भी तू जी सकता है जॉब सिक्योरिटी इट माइट नॉट बी 100% Hello everyone uh, we have Varun today uh, he is doing a uh, ms a masters in it from arizona state uh, varun uh, welcome to our channel uh, please uh, walk us through through your journey so far hi nitesh uh, hi everyone so i'm varun uh, i've started my pursuing my masters at arizona state university from the fall of 2021 and i'm doing my masters in information technology focusing on data management it's been really great journey this one and a half year in arizona like uh, i actually have like two years uh, experience at wipro technology so i worked for two years and then i decided to pursue my masters so, so you were with wipro uh, how many years you have worked with wipro two years right yes i worked for two years and, and okay uh, when did you passed out so uh, i'm just uh, i just oh, wanted to quote the quote that okay uh, uh, barun has been so far ha- have got distinction um <laughs> so uh, uh, like i would like varun to talk about his course himself uh, so well if if i start talking about just the masters then yeah uh, uh so far like uh, it's basically a 30 credit course so uh, so far i'm like luckily i i, I got like four on four on all in all the so semesters about, so i think we will come back to that we just wanted to know about your 10th and 12th score because uh, okay, from, 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 there. Uh, okay. <laughs> from there so uh, we will we will start well, with the basics yeah. only <laughs> okay so i am one of those regular students like in a state ssc board uh, state syllabus uh, so i completed my 10th standard in 2013 uh just like any other state syllabus uh, school you know it was a typical board exams and i i was kind of a, like you know studious person at that time because you know everyone uh, forces you like you know 10th is the turning point for you you need to focus and also uh i've done that and somehow i scored like 9.7 out of 10 and then on like i decided to pursue uh, mpc during my 11th and 12th and uh, my aim was iit but over those two years i realized okay that iit is not the only thing outside and i'm so not fit for iit and then uh, uh i yeah i successfully finished my 11th and 12th uh, with a really good grade uh, like i got like 95.3% mm. and i got admitted to manipal institute of technology okay. and here i want to quote something uh, so people think manipal is a really like a party school and you get so spoiled and all it's not like that trust me i partied at the same time i studied and it's your choice and it's everywhere like that so don't just go by the news i would say that and no no uh, i think i think manipal has got uh, their own share of credits after the uh, satya nadella got uh, at the helm of uh, microsoft so <laughs> so we have yeah. very good words for manipal yes <laughs> Yeah so yeah I've done my four years of uh, undergraduate in computers and communications engineering and uh, I passed out with a grade of 7.54 which I think is a really good grade given the curriculum they had and I I I always had a plan to go to masters right after my undergrad but uh, then I, I I had conversations with many other people who were already pursuing masters and people who were working at I took a detour uh, I thought okay if I work and go for my masters probably that experience helps me out a lot and I I think it does uh, but yeah uh, it's it's individual's choice uh, you know both of them have pros and cons so I wouldn't say like it's always best to work and go for masters it's it's individual's choice all right and uh, yeah so yes uh, I just wanted to like understand uh, your decision to join Arizona state um what was your list of like the colleges you are planning to go for and what are the other courses also 
so uh, primarily uh, my focus was to get uh, like do masters on something related to data mm-hmm. like uh, data analytics or data science data engineering so i always used to like plan to go for uh, focused on like a uh, uh, masters in data science or something like that yes, but uh, data is everywhere today so yes uh, yeah. it's no wonder you were planning for go for data science <laughs> and all so 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 why not data science uh, why uh, it in data science focus like uh actually uh, when i was applying for the colleges uh, then i realized that each college has a different uh, curriculum you know it might be uh, like titled as masters in uh, computer science and uh, they might have a separate focus area saying that uh, only data analytics so it's uh, i later on understood while applying for the colleges while looking into college curriculums mm-hmm. i understood that uh, it it more depends on what they are going to teach than what they title it mm-hmm. so that is one of the reasons i took masters in information technology at asu because mm-hmm. when i went look uh, like when i saw the curriculum of masters in Info- information technology at asu they had like two different focus areas and one was on data management which mm-hmm. which further explained about what courses they teach and all of them were like uh, very much I, uh, what i was interested in all right so i thought why not take up that and that is the reason i i chose information technology okay we're coming back to profile uh, how was your like gre and how the score along with uh, ielts Okay so my GRE was like not really great it was like a 302 uh, 161 quant 141 verbal i was really bad at it but mm-hmm. and uh, my IELTS was it was it was uh, it was a good score i got a 8 band out of 9 and uh, during that covid period probably uh, these both together like the combination helped me out so much in terms of colleges all right Uh, so, uh, because yeah. so i ha- i had one question over here like why like do we have a hack of getting into asc without gre score uh <laughs> in general i don't think so but uh, what i could tell you is uh, it all depends on what course you choose first thing uh, because each course has a different requirement uh, some right. might require gre some might not require gre Okay. Uh, I I did require GRE. Uh, they asked me to upload for GRE score as well. All right. At, like at least during my time. But over the COVID period, a lot of uh, their criteria has changed. Not just ASU, but every university, I guess. But uh, the criteria has changed, and uh, it all depends it, it on. It has changed post COVID. Yes, it has changed post COVID. Yes. So, uh, what were the other colleges you were planning for? Uh, so. Uh, my span of like uh, deciding to go for masters and uh, applying to them and getting an admit was very small uh, like i started in early december like i started writing my ielts exam in early december and then you know de- uh, preparing my documents sop lors and then applying for the colleges so based on my deadlines and all i had to choose like i missed out some colleges but uh, whatever colleges i was give, available with uh, there were uh, asu uh, 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 california state university like uh, sacramento and long island and uh, mm-hmm. so let's know, talk Mason so let's that. talk about uh, like state admits and rejects right so yeah <laughs> how many admits you got uh i got 4 out of 5 oh great 4 admits out of 5 yeah and what was uh, the rejected uh, where you got the reject uh it was this university called university of new mexico uh and i strictly believe it's because of uh, the restrictions they have uh, okay. for the cs department because mm-hmm. uh, i know people studying there and uh, there is a hack for that as well i guess okay because you don't get cs over there mm-hmm. uh, that easily they had some issues with mm-hmm. indians it's some other talk but they mm-hmm. so it's very difficult to get a cs mm-hmm. seat over there with as far as i know whoever has applied i, I didn't see a single person getting there right. so that's the one university mm-hmm. i didn't get it and that's kind of a decent uh, university in terms of uh, student friendly like you know funding and financing etc 
this sets us uh, this sets us for our next video we will be doing one video for the new mexico <laughs> <laughs> so okay so uh, uh yes uh, varun uh, like how you were actually financing your studies like what was the plan uh, were you going for education loans or like anything yeah so i opted for an education loan uh, which covered my whole tuition okay. and i actually i thought i i'm going to pay out of my pocket for the living as well because mm. uh, i was not so sure about like how the funding here for the students would be but uh, turns out if you go, if you really like if you're in the right place at the right moment uh, you get a really good funding here uh, so so far uh, i have used my loan only for my tuition and uh, luckily since the time i have come here some of it uh, be it part time or anyway uh, i was able to like you know earn for myself and that was more than enough for my so, living and uh, so which bank you opted for like uh, i just wanted to ask and if you can quote the interest rate at that time it will be like for uh-huh. you that yes sure sure so uh, given that time uh, i have t- uh, opted from uh, indian overseas bank oh uh, so you have got a yeah, you, I, you have chosen a nice bank <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I couldn't say if it is nice or not it, it was all uh, I, I left that uh, that whole loan part on my dad because uh, okay. you know he is the one who supposed to yeah uh, put some surety or like he is the one who has to uh, see like it's based on his uh, mm-hmm. IT file or something okay. that I'm going to get okay. the loan but uh, the interest rate was uh, 10.05 which I think is a very decent interest rate uh, there are mm-hmm. uh, like there are many other banks with a lesser one Mm. but i saw many people during that time paying like 11 12% so i thought okay. it was decent i wouldn't say okay. it was great but it is decent all right all right so uh, coming back to your uh, college so when you once you landed over like the campus how was the vibe how like how do you actually feel uh, what was the like world welcoming for the indians because i know uh, arizona state university is the second home for indians like there are lots of indians going <laughs> over there so um, i just wanted to understand like uh, does it feel different or it, it, it was all same uh, <laughs> i have a really kind of a weird first experience oh. here because uh, my i i landed in uh, arizona just like a day or two days before my university start so i didn't have much time because of my office and all Mm-hmm. uh and as soon as i landed uh it was mm-hmm. kind of a little bit new experience first thing the heat okay it's a it's a desert state mm-hmm. of us yes so it probably kind of feels like the south part of india but a little bit more direct mm-hmm. heat, sun mm-hmm. you know okay uh, so, but that's the first thing mm-hmm. i noticed and people mm-hmm. around me were not so indian that time but the minute i entered the area where students live uh, yeah it was like another home so i didn't find much difference it would be like uh, the people from rajasthan will will feel homely over there uh, no uh, so okay. it's only about the weather not okay. the sand or something you you're okay. going to find all rocks okay. rajasthan is all about sand there's ah, no yes, sand yes i just wanted to talk about the weather only so yes if it is more direct than the, yes rajasthan is like a bit yeah, more yeah. friendly uh, i have a friend of mine here she studied in rajasthan um, she still has some difficulties sometimes okay 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 so it's all about the weather the weather is not very friendly uh, in arizona so uh, yeah. and uh, weather was not very welcoming and who were the next just the summer just the okay. summer was just like, the summer uh, was not welcoming yeah summer runs from may uh, like uh, april through august so i just landed by the end of the summer so when i saw that i was like it is hard but not so so hard i can take it and all but then they explain oh. me oh you didn't see the summer this is done okay. <laughs> i was like oh my god then i'm going to die cool well i got so, my experience later on the recent time but yeah so uh, how was the induction ceremony and everything like that how was like where did you join any club or societies if you can mention so, yeah, yeah so we are induction due to covid our induction was like uh, your choice like online and offline Uh, I attended it online because I was pretty late uh, but I did attend it again for the uh, spring semester All so right. you know I just wanted that experience I missed out by coming late so I didn't want to leave out that experience and mm. uh, it was pretty good like uh, they have really good resources it it all depends on like how you 
come forward and take the initiative uh, there are so many student chapters clubs and many activities like it uh, so any it's all it, about it, so so names like anyone you want to quote here um, any one of them you want <sighs> to quote, or, or see, see basically when when the students uh, in, in in my last interview i was just talking to anshika uh, she is she is she is vardenia tech she told me even people try to carry uh, rajai and gadde from india so so all, all, all these things all these uh, information like where from where you got all these information we, had you joined any whatsapp group or something like that or you, it, it, uh, you were all you were all on your own uh, so i had a friend of mine already like uh, studying oh. a semester here uh, so that was one big help for me but uh, uh, i i basically I, i spoke to her i was like what is needed what is not needed what do you think like what based on your experience i just spoke to mm-hmm. her and she just told mm-hmm. me a couple of things and uh, mm-hmm. uh, honestly speaking like uh, i never had the, that thing like i was supposed to carry blankets and all but uh, <laughs> if you really don't know anyone if you really mm-hmm. don't know anyone having those mm-hmm. minimum basic needs with you mm-hmm. in your bag is very much helpful so i suppose majorly people try to save the cost over there because of the dollar and the rupee difference so um, that that might be the reason people carry a lot of stuff so okay if someone has that opinion uh, i would say don't have it because it's not major difference here and once you start earning here hmm. would dollar or rupee ka calculator apne aap se gayab ho jayega i yes. agree mai jab pehle pehli baar mai aaya for my up till i had my first salary in my account yes मैं भी वही सोचता था कि लाइक दो डॉलर का कोक बॉटल सीरियसली बीस रुपए में खरीदता था दो डॉलर का क्या है ये सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स यू नो आई यूज्ड टू अवॉइड हैविंग कोक एंड ऑल समटाइम्स इट मेक्स यू हेल्दी एज वेल लाइक यू अवॉइड ऑल द जंक दैट यू यूज्ड टू इट इन इंडिया बट यस बट दैट्स वन थिंग आई डिड सो लाइक कमिंग बैक टू योर कॉलेज यू 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 टॉक्ड अबाउट द अर्निंग्स पार्ट राइट So I just wanted to understand what was the timeline of getting the internship since you started the the college. Okay, uh, so mine was more of a part time on campus. Uh, so mm-hmm. basically, yeah, pe since you mentioned that, we pura Indian another home bolke. Yes. So you know how we Indians are, right? जो भी free में मिल रहा है उसको तो छोड़ेंगे नहीं हम लोग. So it was all competitive everywhere. So uh, okay. we used to go like. Uh, ASU portal rehta hai for job for applying for student jobs and there is also uh, like basically they have two different categories okay one is a complete ASU uh, ASU related jobs like uh, maybe like a lab assistant or maybe like a security aid or maybe something uh, something like that which is completely under ASU and there is one other part which is food services all right which is all related to catering and cafeterias dining halls uh, all this kind of thing all right so first time when i when i started applying for part times uh, ye portal ka to you don't have any other alternative max to max mm-hmm. reference kaam karta hai that is that right. to in rare cases all right but jo when some, you don't know anyone no one knows you to tumhe mm-hmm. job chahiye immediately so that would only be like the food services thing all right uh, that's how i started as well which mm-hmm. i regret <laughs> I, that's a big story later on but uh, <laughs> um uh, i think that's not a problem uh, like only if you're not uh, only if you're earning so uh, how much you're earning like with the food services and all like so uh, uh, it was before like in my first semester like for a couple of months i worked there mm-hmm. uh, so that time uh, they were paying the uh, minimum salary that was like uh, 12 or 12.8 over during that time that mm-hmm. was the base salary of asu all right uh, so if you get a, if you get a basically they have these uh, Level student worker one through five. So okay. student worker one pay gets paid like twelve point five, twelve point eight. All right. So that's the pay I was getting, and uh, here it all depends on number of hours you work, and you are limited right. to up to twenty hours, and it is not always a rule that you'll get twenty hours. You might get all just ten right. hours. Okay. So my situation was that ten hours a week, and uh, paying getting paid like twelve, twelve point five bucks a week, an hour. All right. All right. So it was not not much. It it helped me cover my rent and little bit of bills. All right. So how was your like? Uh, how what was the accommodation initially like? How where you were staying? How did you find that? Uh, so when I decided to go to ASU, uh, India, me like, अपने आप WhatsApp group बन जाते कैसे? I don't mm-hmm. know, but 
somehow you'll find one whatsapp group with your university koi na koi wo insaan rehta hai jo shuru karta hai like someone someone who who love making whatsapp groups so exactly yes 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 randomly you find one group and uh, that's how i found one group and uh, and then i spoke there like my uh, Uh, we interacted a little bit online. It was all messaging, but we interacted, and then uh, our roommates. It's like you just post a ad kind of thing. Like uh, I'm looking for a roommate. Uh, is anyone mm-hmm. interested? And that's how you connect. And that's how mm-hmm. I connected with my mm-hmm. roommates. Uh, luckily or fortunately, till now they are my roommates. All right. <laughs> Even over oh. over this one mm-hmm. and a half year. All right. But yeah, or as a starter, that's how you meet. And after you find the roommates, you start looking for a house. Mm-hmm. Oh, from from India is that itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would suggest to do that first. Don't come without any preparation in terms of accommodation. Okay. Definitely have something before you come. Okay, so you got the roommates like through the WhatsApp group. Okay, so yes. um, how what was the cost of like living per week per week? Because you said you were earning one twenty dollars, and what was mm-hmm. like your you were spending per week? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I spend a lot. I am someone like जो भी जेब में वो खर्च होना ही चाहिए types. Paycheck to so, paycheck. हाँ <laughs> paycheck to paycheck तो बनता है. In fact कभी कभी तो starting में जब मैं मेरा ये छोटा job था तब तो घर से भी पैसे लेना पड़ता था. But not much. Uh, it hmm. was very much. You know obviously यहाँ आने के बाद जब तुम तुम वो dollar का calculator लगा के चलते हो. जब घर से पूछोगे तब फिर से वो calculator याद आ जाएगा. अरे यार. सौ dollar चाहिए तो सात हजार आठ हजार अभी चलो नहीं हो सकता. So I I didn't spend so much on it. Basically मेरा पूरा expenses जाने के बाद जितना भी पैसे बच जाते थे. Like uh, it would be around uh, I would say based on bills. I would say it was around six hundred to seven hundred dollars on my bills. Okay. Because uh, if you remember, I mean, like if you are familiar with this, over these two years, yes. masters को आने लोग इतने लोग बन गए like yes. literally there were lots of back. Instagram खोलो और कुछ इसका story post करो. Everyone is masters. Masters yes. जा रहा हूँ. राइट So uh, then, how do you actually started making up? So uh, that would be a story. Yes. Yeah, it, it's a it's a big it's a big journey. That's for sure. So I told you right, it's twenty hours ka limit for working, and my ten hours ja rahe the, but baaki ten free tha. So two three months ke baad samao, I told you right, reference ke chalte also you get some jobs on ASU portal like those ASU jobs. That's how I got one other job uh, at at one of the buildings. Uh, in asia itself like the role was like a security aid nothing much to do but yeah it was a decent enough role it was paying like 13.85 at that time uh so wahan pe bhi zyada aas nahi milte the but dono jab milate the to i would easily get like a maybe biweekly i used to earn like 350 to close to 350 dollars at least so waisa 350 400 dollars tak ho jata tha around i used to get by the end of the month like 800 to 900 dollars some of you are you, you are doing overtime then right nahi nahi Haan. that's what uh, 20 hours mein hota tha but uh, Achha, do, two jobs hote the acha two jobs hote the Mera... you were completing your 20 hours right yeah uh, yes, not right. complete 20 hours but it we used to sometimes 20 hours hota tha sometimes 17 hours hota tha around 20 that's it cool. so mera wahan pe i can tell you overtime consider kar sakte ho but it's in terms of the schedule ये okay. वाला जॉब सुबह होता था दूसरा वाला जॉब रात को होता था आई नेवर हैड अनदर लाइफ सम एट वन पॉइंट सो दैट्स हाउ इंटरेस्टिंग सो हाउ लॉन्ग यू एक्चुअली कोप्ड अप विद द पार्ट टाइम जॉब्स एंड व्हेन यू गॉट द इंटर्नशिप लाइक द फॉर्मल इंटर्नशिप सो या ओवर द समर लाइक मेरा इंटर्नशिप आई वुडंट से कंप्लीटली इट्स एन इंटर्नशिप इट वाज लाइक अ ऑन कैंपस जॉब अगेन इटसेल्फ बट इट वाज टेक्निकल Okay. It was uh, I was working for the data centers of ASU uh, mm. over throughout the four throughout the four campuses. Some, so I'm some, pretty much familiar something? with all the campuses. <laughs> okay, great, great. So something you always wanted, data management, right? 
Ex- exactly. Uh, kind of it is related. So this was a different uh, exposure I I, I got. Yes. Uh, कभी सोचा नहीं कि डेटा के लिए कुछ फिजिकल रिलेटेड भी चलता है बल्कि इट नेवर स्ट्राइक्स योर माइंड यू नो या डेटा सेंटर्स आर समथिंग लाइक वी ऑलवेज uh stay away from all this thing uh yes. yeah it's more yeah. hardware you know servers yeah. uh, firewalls ye pura yeah. gateways and all ye yeah. hame idea nahi rehta because we and assume that it's networking only but uh, mm. it, it deals with everything so yes. uh during the summer jab main internships ke liye try kar raha tha at the same time i got this thing and mm-hmm. inko summer mein work karne ke liye they needed people mm-hmm. so uh, So since I was getting this job, I concentrated only on the big companies during mm-hmm. the internship, mm-hmm. like application phase. That's okay. the reason I didn't go for a software company. Mm-hmm. I I rather ended up with working with uh, ASU itself. Okay. Two reasons. I don't know if it is right or wrong, and I don't mm-hmm. know if I should tell on on record or not. Mm-hmm. But um, my primary reason was like, I have seen that these, you know, those seven eight months ki. कितना स्ट्रगल था विद द अदर पार्ट टाइम जॉब्स ये मेरे से नहीं होगा आई वांट अ डिसेंट जॉब बोल के आई टुक अप दिस एंड इनको समर में चाहिए था लाइक पीपल दे वांटेड पीपल टू वर्क तो आई वाज लाइक आई वुड रादर वर्क हियर एंड हैव अ सिक्योर पार्ट टाइम जॉब रादर देन जस्ट गोइंग फॉर 3 मंथ्स सम अदर इंटर्नशिप बिकॉज़ आई एम गेटिंग ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर टेक्निकल एक्सपीरियंस एनीवेज लाइक आई एम गेनिंग समथिंग डेफिनेटली आई थिंक इट्स क्वाइट टफ लाइक आई थिंक आफ्टर टॉकिंग टू यू आई एम गेटिंग दैट इट्स टफ टू गेट द जॉब्स एंड uh getting part time jobs in asu because you have lots of like minded people over there so yeah. uh, and who are all who are, all are competing for the jobs it's very competitive it's very it's competitive. very competitive right 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 yes. so uh, 100% very competitive yes so what is like current status like how much you are earning and how much actually you are like spending so, right now Nah, <laughs> again it's definitely still paycheck to paycheck but i'm earning uh, like 1400 1400 a month Uh, that's but quite a I growth. still spend, yeah, and <laughs> that's quite a growth in my expenses as well. <laughs> All um, right, uh, but you know what mm. I believe is like stay in your limit, mm. and अगर तुम 600 कमा रहे हो तो 600 में भी तू जी सकता है, 1500 कमा रहे हो तो 1500 में भी तू जी सकता है. Basically, I never used to hang out. I never used to go out for mm. you know going on trips and all. It was very less that time. So and you were just optimizing. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. cool so i was like uh, cutting out the unnecessary stuff and f- prioritizing uh, what i what are my needs first so coming back to your course curriculum like i just wanted to know how stressful it is like anything you want to add about your course uh, because you have already discussed about this but uh, something you wanted to mention about this course for our viewers uh so this course is not like really tough or something it's it's majorly about what you explore out of it or what you what you try to initiate and gain out of it uh, you have the syllabus you have the material you have the professors it's all on you like how you're going to utilize it in your personal mm-hmm. career growth uh, uh people might think masters ko aayenge to it's very difficult ye pure ye courses wagaira karna mushkil hota hai but uh, mm-hmm. especially for our indians it's not that difficult okay all it depends on is like जितना भी तुम स्कोर करो एट दी एंड दे गोना सी व्हाट यू नो व्हाट इज ऑन योर प्रोफाइल सो मणिपाल वर्सेस एएसयू हाउ टफ इज द कोर्स वर्क इफ आई कंपेयर टू मी आई वुड से इट्स कंपैरेटिवली कंपेयर टू मणिपाल हियर इट इज वेरी इजी ओके आई वुड से वेरी इजी बट इट्स डिफरेंट इट्स डेफिनेटली डिफरेंट सो यू माइट हैव दैट starting bumpy road you know but it gets okay. smoother on the on the way okay. you gonna uh, uh, you know you gonna accumulate to that process like assignments bhi bahut alag rehte hain every week assignments rehte mm-hmm. everything counts to your final and uh, right. they are very different the discussion bolte hain presentation bolte hain hum mm-hmm. logon ko ye aadat nahi rehta ki har hafta presentation do uh-huh. so it's a it's a different kind of exposure mm-hmm. you get here how difficult and, how difficult are the exams and all not extremely difficult uh, if you are really familiar with the concepts and with the topic uh, it's 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 easy it's like uh, easy right cool it's doable uh, it's doable so uh, i know like uh, the placement concept is is widely different um, uh, for the uh, asu and everything in india we say we the onus of placement is on college they they bring mm-hmm. they invite all the companies and all 
yeah. i just wanted to understand like um, have you got any placement offer so far or um, your seniors have if they have got i just wanted to understand what is the ctc and all what they get okay uh, so yeah uh, i've recently started applying for the jobs and you know given the job market right now it's a little bit rough and slow so i've been getting some calls and it's very slow process going on like so i don't have anything in my hand right now all right uh, it's kind of too early according to the american job mm-hmm. market thing i'm a right. little too early to apply to the jobs also apparently all right uh, i still don't know if i should consider it or not but yeah mm-hmm. that's no, no, it so it's, it's good to it i think i think it's good to apply earlier like that that's also might be a case like you should start early so, because you uh, you gain the experience and then you can actually go for the bigger roles yeah yeah uh, yes. i i would agree to that but here what happens is like uh, most of the roles that they open up on linkedin or any other like on the portal as well uh, they look for like uh, let's say they open up a job they mostly look you look to enroll you by 3 months or something so i still have like 6 months to graduate so back in india it's nothing like that most of the jobs are like uh, agar company campus ko aa raha hai so they yes. know that you are going to graduate yes. eight saal ke yeah. baad yes, so yes. that's a that's one difference we have they have here. they have their plans in their mind so yes in yeah. um, there it is like they want the resources immediately thought of right Yeah. yeah, so it depends on the role. So role specific लेना पड़ेगा. They have these new grad roles and all. जो उनको पता है कि you graduate at a certain time. So what so is the CTC they they got? Like what are the seniors and what is the scenario? Yeah. So my seniors, many of them actually got really great packages. Uh, on an average, I could say like till date, like in terms of software side, it was at least uh, 80 plus 80 to 100 oh. was a minimum. All right. Uh, जहाँ तक मुझे पता है बट हुएवर आई नो इन माई सर्कल वो गॉट द जॉब एमेजॉन वॉज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट रिक्रूटर्स दैट वी हैड एंड देन वॉलमार्ट एंड इंटेल एंड देर मेनी कंपनीज वी लाइक देर रियली गुड कंपनीज एरिजोना इज बेस्ड विद सो मेनी सॉफ्टवेयर कंपनीज ऑलमोस्ट सारे सॉफ्टवेयर कंपनीज एरिजोना में भी है सो देर आर ample amount of opportunities uh, it's just the timing and the profile or like the resume that you're going to showcase so, them like what are the companies who are actually offering the jobs like anything uh, any list of like uh, the companies which are like which are the regular hire like recruiters from the campus so uh, uh, campus no one comes to the campus for sure but uh, like company uh, like many people apply to the companies right that one of so, the major so, companies would so, be like amazon uh, walmart starbucks uh, there is i think even american express uh, mm-hmm. intel adp uh, there are many more like these these are few big right. companies and what are the uh, uh, goldman sachs mm-hmm. goldman sachs and there are so many I, like uh, all these big companies so uh, there must be something like uh, facilitation by the campus for the placements and everything like what are the services they are, they offer they, they they don't offer anything i mean like there is something called career fairs that happen which i but personally never felt very much useful okay. i mean like they are but you know we being international students uh, there are so many criteria that we might not fill in and okay. uh, whatever career fairs maybe it might be wrong as well like maybe i didn't attend the right career fair as well right. because whatever career fairs they come in like they have uh, it it depends you know one time they come only for sales roles one time right. they might come only for undergrads so they come in a different way and they don't let us know prior so whenever i went for the career fair they were like ah oh, we are not looking into this right now uh, but still you can check on the website okay so It's something like that. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, like, uh, any good experience you want to share about your uh, like the campus or the entire journey so far, or plus uh, anything which is like which will not be like not be like uh, going to remember um, anymore. So, good and <laughs> good and bad. Uh, I, one is definitely both good and bad. Uh, like when you come for masters and you be all independent you're going to see the real life actually outside like independent rack jo jo life mein difficulties and good things rehte hain all that you're going to see and uh, only good in the in that aspect i would say 
coming to a different country and uh, exploring this place oh and uh, like you know it's it's very different from our home mm-hmm. country it's it's really different uh, you find different culture you meet different people you network with them you you know that there is a bigger world outside india you know yes yeah that is a good experience that you, i have and that you, i remember i understood that you should always network it's more sort of birds coming out of nest bird coming off out of nest you see a, there is a bigger world yeah. there is like a lot of thing so like yeah. why why so i had a very uh, like why indians opt for asu why in in a very high number what is the reason <laughs> that's a question even i have because hmm मुझे पता नहीं था कि एएसयू मोर ऑफ इंडियन कॉलेज है बोल के टिल आई वाज ऑलमोस्ट हियर मैं ये एस्पेक्ट कभी डिस्कस नहीं किया कभी क्वेश्चन नहीं किया कभी किसी को पूछा नहीं कि एएसयू में कितने इंडियंस रहते हैं या इंडियन कम्युनिटी रहता है क्या बोल के बिकॉज़ माय पॉइंट वाज लाइक आई आई शुड गो अब्रॉड आई शुड गो टू यूएस टू डू माय मास्टर्स टू गेन मोर एक्सपोजर ऑन डिफरेंट कल्चर डिफरेंट पीपल यू नो आई हैड दिस स्मॉल होप दैट आई माइट हैव फाइंड really good mix of people like mm-hmm. uh, americans and indians like i i would be one of those minorities where you know i get my recognition mm-hmm. kind of you know mm-hmm. yeah i'm from india you know india is this mai bol sakta hu mm-hmm. but when i came here scene pura reverse ho gaya mujhe ek difference nahi lagta in terms of jab college jata hu class ko jata hu to i always see the indians especially in computer courses agar tumhara computer course nahi hai kuch aur hai electrical bhi hone do you'll find many other people Hmm. but if you are this computers which most indians take up so you are finding like 95% indians only hmm. in fact itna indians hote hai ki jo faculty joke maarta hai na wo bhi indians ko reference karke hi maarta hai matlab hmm. he he knows apna ap, you know he doesn't need to consider any other country so, india ka hi bolta hai so any any good faculty you want to mention like any names you want to take so uh, how approachable they are like something like that just talk about your faculty uh so uh, for me till my till date my experience there's this faculty uh, her name is asma uh, sh- she was very uh, you know very interactive very helpful uh, unka teaching mujhe acha lagta hai uh, right. she teaches pretty well and uh, you know uh, i used to think ki at least in my undergrad i used to think ki are yaar faculty ko bas book se padhana aata hai inko practical mein jab karna padta hai kuch nahi aata types whereas that uh, that faculty she she literally uh, most of it was a practical knowledge that i gained from her courses she she used to make us you know mm-hmm. code through the class she used to code with us all okay. s- such kind of things and uh, that i think for me she is the only one who was like very much like jinko class jinke classes mm-hmm. ke liye main interest se jata tha like i never used to miss a single class all right but uh, in terms of getting uh, you know getting that support from the faculty they are always there for you. like mm-hmm. koi bhi faculty rehne do uh, jitna tum interact karke network karke baat karte ho utna wo log bhi interest dikhate hain that, that's the only key thing that every person who comes for master should remember ki aap ja ke baat karo wo log bhi utna interest dikha ke aapko help karte hain so what so the... about networking great great so coming back to the job perspective like uh, i would be putting one more question over there what are the odds of uh, not getting a job i know it's a very uh, dreadful question but yes i need to ask so uh, on a general basis uh, i'm i'm not the one right one to answer because uh, i i don't know the exact how the market runs for uh, let's say mechanical or aeronautical people but in my field mein if i see you will definitely end up with a job wo chahe directly to to the company ho sakta hai ya koi consultancy se contract job ho sakta hai to so, right. wo job aspect mein you you might not uh, matlab job security ke bare mein i can tell you job right. security it might not be 100% right. because if there is any issue first person to lose a job is a contract employee all right so i would say the perspective of like the uh, the percentage of you getting the job the probability of you getting the job is like if everything goes well maybe i would say 70% all right that's like based on your hard luck and little bit of luck baki ka 30% to pura tumhara luck aur timing pe rehta hai hmm. all right so But, my like uh, any ballpark figure for the ctc which people get any ballpark figure from asu from asu yes from asu for for, for your stream uh, 
100% like 90k pakad lo 90k to mil hi jayega 90,000 dollars not 90k ke aas pass rehta hai cool given the current market 90,000 ke aas pass aas pass to pakka mil hi jayega cool uh, i think uh, i am done with my questions i have i hope i have covered everything if you want to add anything you want, on your own you can please go ahead uh well I, all i would say is that uh, like a student should do his research jot down his requirements and uh, select the university based on that because uh, ek ek ka ek ek condition rehta hai some people might be a very middle class people some people might be mm-hmm. really well off people uh mm-hmm. and they might think ki only bade university se padhne se hi ho sakta hai kaam uh, mm-hmm. but it's not always like that you know uh, mm-hmm. bade university se definitely advantage hai jitna bada university se abhi if let's say like I, if i studied from an ivy league i would have had little bit more mm-hmm. uh, you know mm-hmm. edge over other people you know yes, so yes, yes. at the end at the end i would say kisi bhi university mein tum padho tumhara profile matter karta hai even yes. if it is a very small university your interest your profile like how you build your resume uh, right. what projects you do what you work towards that's what matters so concentrate on that concentrate on your interests concentrate on your situation and requirements that's mm-hmm. what i would say that was very uh, encouraging words from you gorun right uh, and yeah. all the be- uh, all the best for your placement and and the job um, so thank you thank you and it was very insightful uh, interview gorun uh thank you uh thanks thanks for connecting